Yeah, I think this will be the first of what will be many uh, throughout the coming months. And we're also getting a taste of what those winds are going to be like. Now, the good news is Eversource says they do not expect nearly as many outages as we saw last week, but they do have crews on standby. Now, gusts reaching upwards of 35 miles per hour are possible. And unlike last week's storm, if people lose power tonight, the temperatures will be bitterly cold. Officials are urging people to take precautions by making sure they have plenty of warm clothes and blankets, bottled water, non-perishable food, and flashlights ready to go. Now, additional crews are being brought into potential trouble areas. Eversource says it'll be keeping a close eye on the northern and western parts of the state where this wind is expected to be the strongest. Now, some people have already lost power. As you take a live look at the snow that is coming down here in Campton. We have about uh, a little over uh, 990 customers without power at this hour, but that number is expected to fluctu uh, fluctuate throughout the day. Reporting live in Campton, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.